This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. So this is something I've been talking about a little bit here and there. Um, I've been banned from TikTok permanently. Now, it is it, it doesn't make any sense until I watched a video yesterday from David Pakman. And Pakman also is experiencing these same troubles. And I'm always hesitant to talk about the conspiracy theories that you hear from people that they're targeting people on the left and they only want conservatives. And I'm still ruminating on all of this as to whether I think that's the case. But I could tell you there is a little merit there because right-wing nutter buttery is just flourishing on the platform of TikTok. Uh, I, I got this message. I just logged in one day a few weeks ago. And it said, nope, you're permanently banned because of multiple violations of your community guidelines or whatever it said. And when you go to my account, you see that I had, you know, over 60,000 followers. I had over a million likes on my videos. And for me to be violating community standards is just nutty because I don't even say the F word here on this show. I bleep the F word. <laughs> We're all adults here, but I've gotten enough feedback from people that, you know, I watch this at work, I try to watch these at work, and I, it's hard if you're dropping the F-bomb. So I, I bleep it when I say it, rarely. Uh, so it, it's not like there's a language problem on TikTok for me. There's certainly not a language problem for David Pakman. Uh, to, if we're talking about a comparison between me and, and Pakman, He's far more mild-mannered than I am. So I don't know. I, I would invite your input. You know, like David said in his video, if you know somebody on TikTok or at, who works there, I would very much appreciate a signal boost. If you just want to share this video on social media to raise awareness about this, I would very much appreciate it. I mean, listen, YouTube has its problems, of course, um, there are certain topics with any content hosting site that they want to stay away from, <clears throat> especially where monetization comes into play. But even as sensitive as YouTube is, for instance, Brittany Page, my, my wife and content creation partner, the co-host of my, my podcast, I Doubt It podcast, um, she posted a video here in, in preparation to get you familiar with her when she takes over when I get my, my when I, when getting my colon cancer surgery. Uh, and it was demonetized. This video about abortion, because she said the words uh, related to sexual activity, and then, well, I'll just say it, we'll bleep it, because I don't want this demonetized. Child. She said that when talking about uh, the abortion issue and all of these Girls who have to, who are forced to go out of state to get abortions. Th these are important topics, critically, crucially important to speak about. So we inform the rest of the citizenry. And if we are disincentivized about talking about them, it's not good for our society. It's not good for our country. It's not good for our republic. It's not good for democracy. So the problems that I have with, you know, very mildly with YouTube are just brought to the forefront when it comes to TikTok. Because I am doing nothing but telling absolute truths that are backed up with evidence, with factual reporting, with statistics and data and research and get banned for no reason. They don't give me a specific reason because what happens is conservatives run en masse to click the report button. It happens here on YouTube, but YouTube, they have a handle on it. They, they, they've grasped what is taking place. TikTok, for some reason, hasn't, or they're just allowing it to happen to liberals to progressives, to people who are speaking truth to power, speaking truth to white supremacy, speaking truth to racism, speaking truth to violent mobs of insurrectionists who attacked the United States Capitol, like me, 
like David. And that is a problem. And listen, whether I get back on the platform or not, whatever. I, I certainly had some money in the hopper that I had earned. That's less of a, of a problem for me, though, the, the money aspect of this. This is absolutely the squelching of dialogue in the public square. Again, I'm not there yet about conspiracy theory, about that I was targeted. I don't know that. I haven't seen evidence of that. I haven't looked deeply enough into it. But it is certainly problematic that someone like me, and certainly, certainly like David Pakman, uh, violated community guidelines. Anyway, uh, 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 as I always do, I'm going to talk about channel memberships and supporting the channel because that is uh, uh, a chief way that I'm able to step aside from or sidestep, let me, to sidestep monetization of videos if, or demonetization of videos. If, if I know that I have a, a, a rock solid support base through channel memberships, I can report on whatever I want because... It doesn't matter if a video gets demonetized. And they do. <laughs> they often do get demonetized. So anyway, if you want to support my work, I would appreciate it. Click the join button below. Become a channel member for as little as $1.99 a month. Or you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Both those are great ways to support what I do right here. And uh, if you haven't already, I'm not, he's, his channel is about a million more subscribers than me. Go subscribe to the progressive YouTubers and the people in this space on YouTube. Go find them on TikTok and subscribe to them. Follow them. Show them support. Because if this is a, a, an attrition issue, if this is a, a matter of numbers and where the support is, we have to show our support for others who are ideologically similar to us. Not in, a, in the spirit of creating uh, an echo chamber, but absolutely in showing the platform gods, the, the owners of TikTok, the, the moderators of TikTok, that it, it's not a fringe set of people out here, that the truth is going to prevail. Anyway, I love you guys. I appreciate you very much. I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.